This is how to tie the double sheet bend and this knot is used to bind two ropes of equal or different diameters together. Now this is an extremely strong knot, very durable, very dependable and can be used to hold or tie back large and heavy loads. So let's go ahead and show you how it's done. The double sheet bend is very similar to the common sheet bend with the exception of an added step. So for this demonstration, let's assume that this left hand yellow rope is smaller than the right hand red rope. So again, yellow rope smaller, right red rope larger. So the first step is going to be, as you would with a common sheet bend, to make a loop out of your right hand rope. And again, as you would with the common sheet bend, make sure your terminal end is facing away from you. Now we're gonna go ahead and take the smaller yellow rope and push it up through this loop and with this step you want to make sure that you've got extra and excess rope so pull it through make sure you've got enough line to finish out this knot so we're going to go ahead and take this yellow rope all the way around just as you would with the common sheet bend and we're going to go ahead and tuck it up underneath again just like the common sheet bend but this is where the last step is going to come into play we're going to come around the back side of our red rope one more time and we are going to tuck up underneath one more time just like that so you see two loops right there and we're going to start to tighten up this rope okay so tighten it down cinch it up and take a look at that that is your double sheet bend and that is a very very dependable knot go ahead and cinch it all the way up and this one is used for heavy loads and you can bind again two sizes of rope together and it will not slip at all even when the load is taken off very very simple very elegant and very useful now even after it's been loaded on it should be fairly simple to untie because of its construction let me show you that knot one more time so go ahead and take your right hand rope put it on a bite make a loop out of it making sure that your terminal end is away from yourself take your left hand smaller rope Go up through, giving yourself enough line, and you're going to come back up underneath and around as you would with the common sheet bend. Pull up and tuck under, just like so. And at this point, you're going to have pretty much a common sheet bend that hasn't been tightened yet. One more step. Go ahead and bring the end or the tail of your rope around one more time. Tuck it up underneath again and begin to tighten up your knot. Okay, cinch it all the way down seat it really well and there you go that is your double sheet bend last demonstration let's go ahead and show you how to tie the double sheet bend with a, an actual smaller rope and take your right hand larger rope make your loop terminal end out take your small rope up through back and around and underneath just like so and at this point you have your common sheet bend you can go ahead and tighten that up if you just wanted the common sheet bend to make the double you're going to come around one more time and you're going to push up underneath with the end of that small rope again just like so now at this point you have a double sheet bend that has not been tightened yet so you're going to go ahead and start tightening down on the rope squish those two ends together make it look nice and pretty but there you go that is your double sheet bend all right guys like and subscribe and as always till next time